she's saucy, she's blue, and she's coming for you. I am Diamond Dave, and today we will be doing something that I have never done before. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be making a backstory for my gunslinger. She's amazing. She's impressive. She is Chiss. A Chiss gunslinger that is like no other character I have. She takes shots. She rolls. She drops it like it's hot. Over 90,000 damage per hit. Isn't she beautiful? Look at her go. But it's going to be better than ever before because I am not going to be doing any work. I am going to be using artificial intelligence. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are using artificial intelligence to create a backstory for my gunslinger, Vara Zekwethrin. As we can see, we got a little bit of this started off right now. All we have to do is generate the text and whatever this is, whatever this says, whatever the AI gods decree will be canon for my gunslinger Vara. Let's read this together. Vara Zekwethred is a Chiss Imperial Bounty Hunter in Star Wars The Old Republic MMORPG. Born on Scylla to a wealthy family with a long time of military service, she exhibited a rebellious streak the moment she opened her eyes. At the age of six, survey says... Vara joined the Marcos. <laughs> At the time, her family wished for her to study the martial art of the ultimate technique. When Vara left, she vowed to avenge them. Many, uh, wait, what? How, how, okay. So, she joined the Marcos at the age of six. Um, and then she, she left home at the age of six, uh, even though her parents wanted her to study the martial art of the ultimate technique. I don't know what that is. We're gonna maybe find out. At the age of 12... The age of 12... Farah discovered she had a knack for hunting enemies in the wilderness. At 18, she traveled to Korriban to complete the bounty she set for a Sith warrior. When she finished her job... She stayed in the Jedi Temple. She currently works for the Jedi Order. Monobaz... <laughs> Monobaz Korriban. What? Okay, here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna delete this. That does not make sense. So, she currently works for the Jedi Order, um, and... Uh, one of the most experienced about- Okay, this is good. This is her childhood. Uh, let's determine her likes, dislikes, and current personal achievements. What we're gonna do, we'll just tab down a little bit and put Vara likes. To use a blaster as her preferred weapon, but she can kill almost any opponent with a lightsaber. Path of the Force Knights. We're gonna delete this and hit this one more time, I think. We're gonna generate more text. How to encounter her when you complete Chapter 11 in Iowan Starfighter Mission. In the Naboo Star Destroyer, you will find Va Vara in the Upper Tiers Cantina. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I, um... Oh boy, this is canon. This is canon, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this back up. There we go, let's pull this back up, okay. Uh, Iowa apparently has, um, starfighters. Shout out to the, uh, shout out to the state of Iowa. Good job. I am, uh, 
I am very, very excited for the state of Iowa. We're just gonna, t uh, we're gonna just kind of conform this a little bit here. All right, here we go. She dislikes. Oh, the AI broke. Let's try this. Let's try this again. She dislikes male Jedi. Known to use Sith Contract. Sith Contract has been researched. No counts. Give me death. Laughing. Heartless Assassin. This does not make sense. This does not conform to the thing. Back it up. Let's go. The fact. Okay, there we go. The fact that she does not use a lightsaber. Although Vara is a dark past, she is a good. She is at heart a good person. She is currently working for the Jedi Order. We've established this. She prefers to work solo and does not do well in groups. Okay, and the the AI is breaking here. This is. That this doesn't conform to the storyline, so we're gonna keep everything that makes sense from a plot storyline thing, but random like gibberish. Nah, like we need, we we need we need we need a coherent story. Her personal achievements include, among others. Successfully completing every bounty in the entire galaxy. Having her first name become a top 10 hard to spell chist name. Destroying the most dangerous beasts in the galaxy. And earning the title of heroic female rebel fighter. Okay, click to reveal. Oh, this is just ripping off of. Okay, okay. Well, we'll we'll add one more thing here because this is this is good. This is good. I'm I'm loving this. I love Infrakit. This is this is amazing. And we will also add uh her darkest secret that's not even her own family knows is That her real name is Ruby Rose. <laughs> her, her her real name is Ruby Rose. What? <laughs> Class bounty hunter. And prefers working alone. We, we will add this to the... We will, we will add this. We will add this. This is good. We're, we're gonna... Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually copy and paste this just over to a notepad real quick. That'll... I think... I, I think that'll, that'll go in the... Uh, that'll go in the bio of this video here. And we will hit this button and see what Ruby Rose secret is. Quad blaster, quad blaster assault rifle. I think we broke the AI, ladies and gentlemen. This, this is a technology that's gonna take over the world. This is gonna take over the world, apparently. Okay. Name is Ruby Rose, a fellow Sith who fell to the dark side and became a monstrous creature. Vara believes that the only way to destroy this monster is to eliminate her connection with the dark side. She will not let Ruby destroy- Wait, okay, hold on. Wait, does she have a split personality? What is going on? Okay. This is Prophecy of the Burning. Okay, alright, this is... I like this story. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so basically her backstory is she left home at the age of six to avoid, you know, even though her family wanted to learn the ultimate technique. 
Um, and now she vowed to avenge her family. I don't, I don't know. Is her family dead? That's not, we, we don't know. Um, the age of 12, she was hunting enemies in the wilderness. At the age of 18, she traveled to Korriban to kill a Sith warrior. And then stayed in the Jedi Temple. And what Jedi Temple? We don't know. There's probably a Jedi Temple on Korriban somewhere. Uh, and she now works for the Jedi Order. And she's one of the most experienced bounty hunters in the galaxy. Um, this is, this is good, but apparently my gunslinger can use lightsabers. That, that's, that's funny. Um, and the Iowan Starfighter story mission. Uh, apparently she likes to hang out on, um, Naboo Star Destroyers. <laughs> uh, she dislikes male Jedi. Who does it, right? And so, wait, here it says she uses a light, does not use a lightsaber, but she can kill anyone with a lightsaber. She prefers to remain uncivilized, apparently. Uh, she is, uh, earning the title of heroic <laughs> female rebel fighter. That's it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we, we have a backstory. It's canon for Gunslinger, so we're going to save this into um just into a document and this is officially officially our <laughs> this is our backstory i cannot wait to uh <laughs> i can't wait to do all my other characters with this Th this has been a treat awesome i appreciate you guys watching thank you so much feel free to please 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 smash that like and subscribe button if you want to see more of this uh I, I this is one of my favorite videos ever i will catch you guys next time for another swotor video be kind be courteous be safe